Welcome to lesson three of the Interior Design Fundamentals course. My name is Valerie and I'm the owner and lead designer of Viola House. And today we'll be covering how to create a beautiful mood board with rayon design. I'm sure you've seen a ton of mood boards online. They look like collection of images kind of thrown in together. But in the design setting, it's much more than just an inspiration. It's a way to clarify your design intent, to align your team, and which is most important, to win your client. In this lesson, I'll walk you through five steps that I take in creating beautiful mood boards with rayon design using very easy copy and paste and directly into your drawing set, AI features, simple background removal, and even increasing and upscaling your images if they're in low resolution. I love that with Rayon, you can really curate your images and link your boards directly to your drawings, presentations, or schedules all in one place. And of course, make sure to download your free template in the description below. Let's dive in. So if you ever Googled mood board before, you've probably seen collage of different images kind of put together and I'll show you a couple of examples how that might look like. So it's a little bit chaotic but in interior design mood boards serve a very strategic purpose and in our process we use two types of mood boards. One is conceptual mood board. That's the one that you start at the very beginning of the project that contains inspiration images that we offer to the clients to kind of gauge what where their direction is, where they want to go, and what style they might prefer. And the second option is the project-specific mood board that contains specific items that will be used on the project and specific finishes as well, so we can see how all of it will come together and what the end result is going to look like. So that's one of the tools that is really helpful in creating that and I'll show you an example of how we can do that in Rayon. So in our project example, we'll start with the conceptual mood board. It's this page right here. It contains just three images from different designers to kind of see what direction we're going to take with this bedroom and which option clients would prefer. And during the presentation, we'll talk about specific details like the wall finishes, the artwork, the lighting, the bed frame, all the different ideas that we might have and what they like and what they don't like, which is very important as well. And on the second page, we've already started working on our mood board. So this is what it's going to look like. These are exact items that we're going to be using in the project and you can add them or remove them very, very easily. So I'll show you, for example, if we want to change this photo right here, but we want to go to Pinterest, for example, you don't have to even save this image if you want to upload it to your mood board. So you can right click with your mouse and select copy image. And then here you can paste it like this and there you go the image has been selected so i'm going to remove this one and we'll change the direction a little bit so after our client presentation we decided to take slightly different approach and make it a little bit more contemporary so we'll remove this light right here we're going to keep the bed because it is pretty similar to what we have we're going to keep the olive tree here as well and right here, let's select a couple of textures. Maybe we can use some wallpaper. So the wallpaper has been pasted over the bed and I want it at the back. So we're going to select the bed frame, right click with your mouth and select arrange and bring forward. So that's gonna flip it this way. And that's exactly what we want. Be mindful of the layers that you are copying and pasting your pictures from because they have to be on in the same layer to make sure that you can arrange them properly. So if they're in the different layers, this tool will not work. So just keep that in mind and make sure you do it in the same layer as well. This is a good start. We are going to add a couple more textures. And let's see. Maybe we can add some bedding. So again, you can just copy image and paste it with either Control V or right clicking with your mouth and selecting the paste. 
button. And right here, you can see that there is a white background on this bedding, which I don't really like. I want it to be nice and clean because it is not exactly the same as the background here. So I want to clean it up a little bit. What you do is you select this image, click edit, and then right here, remove background. Rayon has an integrated AI tool, which is very nice, and it removes the background very clean and very quick as well, which I really like. You can see that it has been updated, so that's our bedding. Let's just add it right here for now. Okay, and we'll add a couple of other things like this Calacara marble table, and we'll do the same process. Edit image, and we're going to remove the background again on it, this page too. And there you have it. You can add it right here. And we'll add our plant on this side. Okay. As you can see, this is in a different layer. So if I click arrange and bring forward, it's not going to do anything because these two pages are not in the same layer. So we need to change the layer. We're going to add it to here. And as you can see, it automatically just changed it. And now it's all nice and clean. Okay. And we have a table, we have our bedding. And let's add some interesting light here as well. So we'll use this one, for example, again, copy the image, paste it right here, click edit image and remove background. The process is very easy and very quick as well. So you can do it as efficiently as you can. So let's just leave that here for now. And now we can manipulate our images a little bit to make sure that they look nice, they fit nicely into the frame. They make sense. Maybe there's the light. Let's put the light right here, actually. Okay, and I want the bed to be at the front. There you go. And we can copy and duplicate any items here as well. Back of the layer. And we're going to add more finishes here as well. Like this flooring, for example. Kind of communicate the intent a little bit better to make sure that the clients understand the intention. And we're going to add some images of the fabric as well just to kind of tie everything together to make sure that everything is represented properly and if you don't want for example to have the same shape as this um, image so this one is rectangular for example i would prefer to have it as a circle here just to have a little bit of a highlight moment so we're going to create a circle then we're going to select on the right panel add fill then go to images upload and from our library we're going to select the image so as you can see it added it as a background or as a fill you can remove the stroke or I usually just switch the opacity to zero and now you have this nice little feature and you can do it with all kinds of shapes as well so keep that in mind. That's very simple and easy way to kind of make your presentation look a little bit more professional as well. So I'm so far happy with what we have going on. This is a good starting point. So I'm going to leave it as is. By itself, the mood board can feel a little bit disconnected. 
and the class might not exactly understand what is happening and where these items are going. So to help the clients visualize it a little bit better, you can also add them to the floor plans, cabinetry drawings, and any kind of documentation that you have going on in the package so they can see what items you have selected for that. So for example, in this case, if these items have already been pre-selected, we're going to select a couple of them and we're going to paste them right here. So our bedside tables, the flooring sample, the bed, a plant, and let's do a light as well. So right here, we'll have a light. So if you want to add real life items to the floor plan or to any kind of documentation drawings that you have going on, um, I usually go to this section right here and I click on arrow. Make sure that you select a curved arrow and you can connect it from here to the item on the floor plan. And of course you can edit it, you can change it, you can change the direction of how uh, the curve is doing, where it's going. You can change the color of the arrow as well. So we can make it red, we can make it blue. Let's do that for example. You can change the stroke frequency. So this one is two millimeters, we can change it to five and that's gonna be a little bit larger. You can change the extensions as well. So this is the little arrow sign. And you can select the ends of the arrow as well. So for example, if I don't want it to be an actual arrow, I can just do a little circle here like this. So if we click off, this is how it would look like. And we can do that with all items that we see on this schedule. So I'll do it quickly right here. And here to the lights. Right here is a bedside table. And the plant as well. Now when the clients are looking at the floor plan, they do have a reference of what everything is going to look like on the same page. They don't have to flip over the pages to find these items. They have kind of an overview and that usually helps quite a bit. When we're working on the mood boards as well, it's also nice to have a separate canvas. So we can do a model canvas right here and just name it as images. And right here, we can paste all kinds of images and then we can use them from this canvas and easily copy and paste it into any section, any canvas that we are working on. That just saves you a lot more time and makes your process a little bit easier as well. So you can also add any kind of text to your mood board if you want to specify where the items are coming from, for example, you can select it from here as annotations and add an anchor point. Select it from here and for example, this bed frame is coming from some pants, so we're going to write that down. From here, again, you can change the stroke. If you select here, you can change the color. Let's make it black. And you can change the dash style as well. You can do the dots, you can do a straight line whatever it is, like even some crazy things like that. So we're just going to do a straight line and we're gonna make the text black, but I want to make the text a little bit better. So there you go. Now we know where this item is coming from or if we want to specify, we can copy and paste this for example, and we can say feature wallpaper, feature wallpaper. For example, something like this. So you can change that with all of the items and make it very easy for the clients to see and understand what these items actually are. And we'll do one more and I'll show you how to add a link to it as well. So for example, table lamp. 
and right here we can add a hyperlink so this slide right here we are going to copy the website link and paste it right here click validate and okay and as you can see it has been underlined which means there is a hyperlink here as well if you're working with your team on the same project and you want to leave them some notes you can do that here as well so you can click comment section and we can add hyperlinks to be added so they know that this still needs to be completed and of course you can share this mood board with anyone on your team just click share button enter their email address and you can even change the level of access that they can get and click invite in the last lesson we've talked a little bit about how the presentation mode works so if we click here into a preview mode you'll see that the presentation mood board has changed and um, it reflects all the changes that we've already made to the mood board as well so that's very convenient you don't have to create a new url you don't have to create a new link it automatically updates everything that you've been working on so right here you can see that all of the changes that we've made are right here and ready to go to make sure that you have the most updated version on the presentation that you've already sent to your clients just click this arrow right here and click refresh and then when you copy the link and we're going to open the link up in the browser this is how the clients will see it. Let's check if all the updates have been made for the mood board and the rest of the presentation too. Okay, so let's check our pages. All good. So as you can see, it updated the presentation with the, our latest version. And you can also see all of the pages here at the bottom as well. So instead of doing that from scratch, when we have a new project, we can just create a template. So right here, if you go under template, you can turn on this toggle and you can update it as well if you made any changes. And if you go into your homepage, right here on the left side, you will see your template and you'll see your whole project template right here on the left side. So you can open it and you can duplicate it or start editing right there into the template itself. And that way you don't have to redo all of this information. You can just use what you have already started with and with the layout and with different items that you started with, with the tables, and you can easily fill in the information that's more relevant to your current project. And just so you know, now you can book a one-on-one -on -one demo with the Rayon team in the description below. And that wraps up our mood board lesson. Now you know how mood boards can be a super powerful tool in communicating better with your team, with your clients, and how to streamline your process to make it easier for everyone. Make sure that you're on the same page every step of the project. Make sure you download your free template in the description below and try to use both board types for your next project. And whenever you're ready, in the next video, I'll be covering how we use millwork drawing sets and all of my tips and tricks on how to streamline our design process. See you there.